Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. Thank you all for clicking on this video. If you are someone who enjoys talking about film, how about clicking that subscribe button? So today we're going to be talking about Netflix's newest holiday movie, The Princess Switched, Switched Again. <laughs> So the Princess Switch Switched Again, or the Princess Switch 2, is the sequel to 2018's The Princess Switch, which also came out on Netflix. It is a Netflix original Christmas or holiday movie, however you like to say it. It does star Vanessa Hudgens, Vanessa Hudgens, and Vanessa Hudgens. That's right, we get a triple Vanessa Hudgens. It was released on Netflix on November the 19th. It is an hour and 36 minutes long. So two years have now passed since we did get the first part. Two years have passed within the time frame of part one part two also within the movie which is margaret is now the next in line to inherit the throne to become queen of montenero i'm not gonna lie to you guys like towards the end of the movie when she is being crowned the queen and every time they would say montenero i would just say queen of genovia if you don't know that's from the prince's diaries this is definitely one of those movies it's like a hallmark movie of course you know that's kind of what netflix has been doing it's kind of what vanessa hutchins has been doing with netflix lately i believe this is her third holiday netflix movie last year we got the night before christmas you know you, you know what you're getting into i feel you should know what you're getting into with these particular movies again it is more of a hallmark lifetime well it's more of a hallmark type of movie because it's more like giddy and feel good and lifetime with a little bit more drama a little bit more like menacing kind of things and more of a villain type feel it's still cheesy in its own way so this definitely is more hallmark than anything so if you do enjoy the hallmark movies then you will enjoy vanessa hudgens netflix holiday movies if you don't well it's there regardless a really cute cheesy rom-com movie i enjoyed myself um i did like part one better i think it had a little bit more it has something extra to it one of the issues that i do have with the movie it's not a spoiler because it is part of the trailer i believe it is part of the trailer if not then this is like the only spoiler that i'm gonna really give you within this um uh, video is that they don't end up telling prince edward about the switch that really didn't do anything for the movie honestly i feel like it that particular thing actually hurt the movie that may be what was actually missing or like put wrong with the movie because it was like no reason whatsoever for prince edward to not know about this switch it it just doesn't make any sense the villains or the henchmen there again it's a hallmark movie so, they, so yeah they're not like the best villains so with the henchmen talk it's we're gonna go ahead and enter the third vanessa hudgens which was not part of the first one fifi would like to call her she's very like extravagant i honestly really enjoy fifi's character i there was something to her and and she's the villain and of course she has her henchmen her minions that are not out there she's like the brains of the operation it's a nice little christmas movie well maybe like a nice little pre um to like your more beloved christmas holiday movies um i think it is worth the watch it's nice to kind of just cozy up get your coffee get your tea get your hot cocoa whatever you drink i don't really consider this to be like a family type of movie maybe if you have like a teenage daughter or you know you're with your sisters then i would suggest that type of family but just like an overall family movie i don't really consider this to be that i think it's best if you do watch part one uh, before you watch part two i feel like you'll get more out of the story again it's one of those that it's really nice to just kind of like shut your brain off and just enjoy it and just kind of have a little escape it's only an hour and a half long and overall i had a good time with it it. and i'm gonna go ahead and just give it i'm gonna still give it a medium popcorn to be honest with you because it wasn't terrible this is all i'm gonna say about the princess switch switched again if you've seen this movie what did you think about it did you like it did you love it did you hate it was it just not for you if you haven't seen it are you looking forward to seeing it is it one you're gonna pass on have you seen part one which one do you like better again i do prefer part one over this one. Oh, there's also a small little cameo from another princess holiday movie there towards the end um of course if you haven't seen the movie then you won't catch on but there is a, a nice little cameo from 
a princess movie that you can actually find on Netflix. Like, I don't think it, they're Netflix originals. They might be. No, I don't think they are. Who knows? But I, I, I'm not going to say who or I'm not going to say from where. But just know. Maybe you can be on the lookout. See if you spot it. Did you spot it if you did watch the movie? Again, it's towards the end of the movie. I'll give you that little clue. It is towards the end of the movie, towards coordination. Pick up the audience a little bit. Of course, before you guys click out of this video, don't forget to give it a like. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet. Don't forget to the notification bell so you'll be notified each time that I post something new. Until next time, I'll see you guys at concessions. Bye.